Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Skip and Loafers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's up, Sumi? So, I would wear, definitely wear some shorts. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but still, in a way, yeah, it, it, it's like a date, in a way. Not like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. Okay, it is now 3 o'clock, 3.18 in the morning. I am super sleepy. We are now on the last show that I have to watch. Officially now, I am all caught up with all my shows. Thank god. Three, six episodes, six different shows in three hours. We did this, Deja. I am so sleepy that you don't even know. And after this, I gotta edit everything so I can get this out. So I'm probably not going to bed till about like six in the morning. I am going to be deadbeat tired. But at least everything will be done and I can upload. So if you see me on, just know I am sleepy. <laughs> And I'm trying my hardest to stay up for you guys so I can get this all out, as I said in the post, like, several hours ago. Me Mountain Dew or something. Something to just keep me awake. Very. Is she literally going to crash the date? <laughs> Hi! We tailing them. Mm. Right? This is a bad idea. You're going to get... Oh, God.
so precious. <laughs> well, I mean, your quote unquote boyfriend was a former celebrity, so you know how to be happy about that. Well, I mean, they are friends. They're just trying to develop their friendship even more. I don't think so, no. He cares about her like that too much. The obvious. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mika. Very risky. I mean, Jesus, y'all just asking to get caught. Uh-oh, are you getting a heat stroke? Should we get you some water? Oh, you can't be her hand. Oh, it's in me. I know, but you look like you're gonna pass out and we don't want anything happening to you. Once again, boyfriend slash husband material, yes. Ah. Golden Cheever has a brother, it's so cute. Mm hmm. Other one, so you guys can kind of match in a way. It's cute. <laughs>
Oh. You want to go back and get him that instead? But, oh. Exactly. If it's coming from you, it's even more special. Yes! So give it to him. It's done. I, I love the fact that we also got to see these two connect and uh, <laughs> start a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Yay! Your earrings are cute. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yes, babe. I'm not surprised on that.
course. Yeah. In a way, Mika. In a way. <laughs> Once again, popular. I honestly thought she would have stayed. <laughs> I mean, you know, depending on the girl's night, you can avoid it. You don't really always have to talk about relationships. Heck, I think securely we all do. No, it's not. You want to hang out with them, don't you? So just go back up on there. She's right. And those, like, friendships can turn into last longing friendships. You never know until you try. So who just text you? Was it what's her face? Yeah. Is something wrong though? A stroll where, honey? You're, I feel like you're plotting something. Right? I'm jealous? Girl, go to bed. It's 3 a.m. for me. Hmm. Of course, she didn't like that.
The drinking thing, yeah. This is just blackmail all of you. Because he, in a way, ruined your life, you feel like he owes everything to you. <laughs> You're taking advantage of him. She really is. And the fact is that he doesn't see that. Glad Mika went back up. Well, this episode just felt like the happiest slash the most depressionist episode ever. Um, yeah, don't like Shima's friend. That's what we're gonna call her, a friend. It's just, once again, you know, when you have the, we're in the year or the several billionth season of bitchy McBitch bitch where some of these girls are bitchy for no freaking reason just because they want to get revenge on insert character here insert character there and so because of the fact is Shima had her go out with him that night when they were in sixth grade I'm guessing and that's where the rumor of oh hey a sixth grader out drinking and partying and such um and then getting into the cancel culture situation which of course is very toxic because even in situations now we have that 100 percent. we all know how toxic that is um she will literally blame him for everything because of that night she had her life ruined because of him i gotta stop closing my eyes because i feel like i'm gonna fall asleep but once again, she is taking advantage of him. And I really want him to essentially speak the fuck up. Because he, okay, here, here's my thing. Since episode one, Shima has always, truly always spoken up for himself. And stood his ground when it comes um, to others. Even when we had this situation of Mitsumi and Shima having their first quote-unquote fight, that he still stood his ground. And even though, yes, both of them were feeling some type of way towards each other, when you have an argument with your best friend, because imagine if it is someone you care about, best friend, significant other, whoever, I think after when you're done having that argument and you go back and truly think about everything um, that you said in the moment and then you eventually come back together, maybe it's about an hour to two to three hours later and you say well you know hey i'm sorry for saying this i'm sorry for saying that i think if shima possibly had a said i'm sorry to her then maybe she probably wouldn't go in down to this road of blackmailing him and such but i feel like still there is more there between these two so I'm kind of hoping there is an episode that isn't her POV where she gets the main focus that we get a little more clarity on the backstory and such because there has to be another reason on why not only the the drunk the drinking um as a sixth grader but there has to be something else maybe she secretly has abandonment issues because she was like you know walk me home hold my hand but that was just like her bossing him around but when she was, you know, younger and she was scared, he was always there for her. And so now that he's like, quote unquote, found like Mitsumi, aka someone her in her POV in her mind thinking like, oh, you found someone new to quote unquote play with that you're throwing me away like trash, like I'm dirt, like I'm nothing. You're chewing me up. 
and spit me out like I'm just a piece of crap and such, of course she's going to feel a, a million um, red flags and abandonment issues towards him. And so she's trying to do everything in her power to win him back. And such. There are points where it is going to work in her favor, and then it's going to be points where it's not going to be in her favor. I do also love that um, Misa Mies, I'm going to say aunt. Um, and Mika honestly really had a little screen time together. I mean, they're just officially now the best duo for them. I do also like the fact that, yes, we got to see our little couple go to the zoo, and him also having a flashback about his younger brother. And such, and you know, Misumi is over here like, yes, still give him this gift because it comes from you. If anybody ever asks your little brother, like, oh, hey, where did you get that from? And like, oh, my big brother got it from me. Like, seriously, that's fucking cute. Oh my god. I also love the fact that Mika, you know, came back to the sleepover. It was really sweet because at first, like, I get it, yeah. It is always awkward when your girlfriends are also talking about their relationships and let's say, you know, hey, you're the one who's single and, and such and you're you're not in the desperate moment of having a boyfriend, but you, you do want a significant other so you can tell everyone like, oh my God, it's like, hey, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend. Look how happy I am and such. And you just feel some type of way when your friends are like, oh, I want to talk about my boyfriend such and such. And you're just like, yeah, I want you to just shut up and such but you, you always have to treat people you know with kindness and stuff but like I am glad that she went back and she got to hang out with them because of course you know the sleepover was really nice in the end but I feel like now Shima is in his depression stage uh, especially with what has happened between her him and what's his face so hopefully like I said we get more clarity on that in the next up and coming weeks but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Skip to Loafer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday. Wrong day. Next Tuesday. I'm sleepy. I surely am. It's 3.44 in the morning. All right. Next Tuesday for episode 9. But until then... I will see you guys all next time. Bye.